Hello, I'm Zardis, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on Paradox Mobs. So, in City Skylines 2, you now have a beta version of Paradox Mobs. A quick disclaimer, again, this is made during the beta version of PDX Mobs. There will be more updates to it. This is the very first look we get at it. But if you go and click on the menu to Paradox Mobs, you get to this beta warning. And again, it's a beta. But then they show some of the... Uh, most popular mods on here and then you can go up to browse to get all of them and you can filter by different things over here i assume eventually we'll get a lot more tags here but uh, you can go to code mod and you can easily do things now the thing about this that is key for you to know is you can go to play sets and here you can create a new play set so like here we will do a uh test play set create that okay so now we have a test play set and that is our active one so we can go into browse and we can say okay i want anarchy i want 529 unlock all tiles i want the magical hearse and i want to play with say depot capacity changer and then when we are in our library, we can see the things that are in the active playset or the other things that I've subscribed to from other playsets. But the thing is that then the nice thing is you can see we have four mobs here. If we want to then switch to, say, map reviews playset, you can just hit use this playset and it will automatically change all of the mobs that you have active at the time. This is so helpful for changing from one city setup to another city's setup. If you have different ways that you like to play, this is a great way to do it. It's a vast improvement from City Skylines 1, and I am here for it. Um, the other thing is if you change your code mods, you see here we go back to the main menu and there's a notification that we have a list of code mods has changed and we have to restart the game. So that's one thing you will need to do. But uh, that is just one thing to keep in mind that if you change your playset, you probably should reset the game or restart entirely. But that's pretty much it. There are ways to view different things by different authors. So I could come here and come down to the author and click Yan Yang. These are all the things that Yan Yang has made. I believe that we will see other things as well. Like you can get to uh, profiles at some point too, I think. Uh, I know they have lots of plans for how this will work, but then you can also browse and sort. Let's clear this out. You can sort by most recent, most popular, last updated, and most subscribed. So those are the different things that you can do. Anyway, that is a quick look at PDX mods. I hope you found this useful. Be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will be something you will enjoy. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time. Take care.